obviously we're beating 3 0 and uh, we're disappointed to lose the game. And you know, we can't complain really about anything in terms of you know, we can't we can't complain about the result in any way, shape or form. I think we're disappointed with the goals that we conceded. Um because we've been very good defensively. Um, you know, in the last in the last three games in the last window, just conceded the one goal and that was the goal, the late goal in Finland, but I think um, you know, for us to concede sort of the three goals that we did w would have been uh, disappointing. I feel um, first one, you know, the first one hurt us because we had started reasonably okay. I thought we started well. Daryl Horgan was quite lively on the right, and um, Alan Brown was getting involved, and Adam Ida certainly uh, we started well enough. And apart from the, sort of a bit of a chance, and they got a corner, and then scored off the uh, the second phase of of the corner when it was cleared and back and put back in. So I think um, for us to to concede uh, more or less from our first chance conceded sort of hurt us. The fact that we went two down um, was very it was disappointing. Um, so. We gave ourselves a lot to do uh, once that happened. And um, England were very good. You know, they were very, very good, I felt, you know. Um, their system is interesting and they, they played well. Have you any concerns about how this might affect morale going into two competitive games? No, I think we're disappointed to lose sort of the number of players that we have. And obviously, John Egan, you know, started the game well. John Egan. Marshall's our defence, he's an important player for us. Um, and he goes off, I think, um, and then we, we can see it shortly after, but I think uh, um, we're disappointed to lose the players that we have, but having said that, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to going to Cardiff and we're looking forward to playing Bulgaria at home they're great. They're important games for us in the Nations League. Uh, this friendly against England, it's always the rivalry with England is always important. And you know, and um, but the game, the Nations League games are of greater importance. Um, there's no doubt about that. Um, so that's that's um, that's where we are. So we're, we're now we're looking forward to going to Cardiff, and we'll make sure that we're. Or you know, were recovered. I think the players to to concede straight after half time. Um, you know, the game could have went any uh, anyway then really. So I think the fact that we we uh, got stronger actually, subs all the subs coming on, substitutes made us stronger. I felt, and um, you know, we 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 had a lot of passes, a lot of the ball then, but we didn't create chances. It's the first game, really, we didn't create chances in, I felt, you know, that we've played, but England were, were, were too good for us on the night. OK, next question from Damien Spellman, PA, please. Hi, hey, Stephen. Um, you deliberately chose a difficult fixture tonight. What will your young players have learned from that? Well, I think it's... Um, um, you know, I think they're... They learned a lot tonight, you know, and it's valuable experience and players getting caps is, is valuable and even some of the players that are not so young haven't got that many caps. And I think, um, so I think it's, uh, it's, it's important, that, um, you know, important international experience against England tonight. And certainly, you know, you know, it's good to, it's good to experience that for, 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 from their point of view. You know, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, of course, I'm not good to experience it because losing, losing has a negative impact on you. And of course, getting beaten like that is is not good. But we don't take any pleasure out of losing. Or I'm not going to talk about looking on the positives. I think um, you know we're disappointed, but you do get ex valuable experience from playing at that against teams of that quality, and um, so. There are benefits in that regard. Okay, Ed Leahy from RTE. Stephen, how are you doing? Um, 
I suppose England right. since the World Cup have been renowned as a, a bit of a set piece team in terms of uh, from, from scoring from set pieces and they're very dangerous. Um, were you tempted to maybe match them in, with three big men at the back uh, going into the game just to try and combat a bit of that physical presence? Yeah, they because they've got the three centre backs. Um, <coughs> sorry, Mings McGuire and Keane, who are all really tall and physical and strong aerial, and they've also got Calvert Lewin, so they are um, really threatening. I think um, you know, I, I think that that is an issue on set plays. They they are particularly strong on set plays when they played Wales. And they beat Wales 3 0 recently. Um, they scored from two two set plays. Corner kicks. They've actually had 15 cor or, fi or penalty kicks. They've they've had uh, seven in their last 11 before today, and they got another one tonight. And they've actually had 15 penalties since we got one there last penalty was 2016 in the Euros. So it is interesting, but um, I think. Uh, they're a good team and they played well and we have to we, we can't have any complaints. We are we're beaten by by a better team. Emmett Malone, please. Hi uh, Stephen, can I just ask you a question about the next couple of games? Um well first of all, we, would Seamus Coleman and, and James McCarthy have started tonight if they both turn around? Uh Seamus would have definitely started. There was no doubt about it. Uh, James, because he'd only played a short period, um, he's only played 15 minutes for Crystal Palace since he came off in Slovakia. Um, yeah. We would have had to manage him over the three games and manage okay. his minutes, and we couldn't have flogged him for three. So he would have played part of today, uh, not a full game, you know. Okay, so what's the position with them going into the next two games? Um, I'm not 100% sure because it's... Uh, Got some bad news, some bad personal news, so um, we'll have to see on that. Uh, and Coleman? Coleman is ruled out with, with injury. He's out, out gone from the three games? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, Paula Her. Stephen, how are you doing? Uh, just one question. Uh, Matt Doherty was saying to us there that um, he said, sometimes I feel embarrassed coming off the pitch because we're conceding goals and not winning games. Does that kind of talk from a senior player does that kind of worry you alarm you that maybe there's a mindset creeping into the players that they're getting a bit frustrated no it doesn't at all uh, you know I'd have to I'd, ha I'd have to speak to Matt but no I, do, I don't that doesn't concern me at all I think uh, you know you'd be alarmed if you weren't disappointed disappointed at losing 3-0 you know I think um, so we've only conceded one goal in the previous you know, 120 minutes, 90 minutes, and 90 minutes. So no, and in, in all the other games, we create chances. That's the first game that we haven't really created chances. Um, so, and I think just a lot of circumstances connected to personnel being available for that game. For us to beat England, we would need our absolute best team, and uh, and then we'd have to play really, really well to do that. We'd probably treat, as you say, Ender Stevens, John Egan, and James Coleman. Um, going out of your back four to start with, you know, but I don't want to sit here and make excuses. We still had a good team out, and we weren't, England were step above us on the night, and uh, they're very good. And uh, I think a lot of uh, a lot of players would have gained a lot of experience from that. And it got us to, I, I learned a lot from seeing the players in that environment individually. And I think that was that was interesting. 